G'day, g'day, g'day. We're looking at Drupal content types. Um, and we're going to have a look at a custom or create a custom content type and basically explain why you want to use them to begin with. Um, if we have a quick look at my Drupal site that I spun up here, this is, this is a default Drupal 10 install. And if you go to structure content types, they have two basic content types, which they talk about a little bit in their um, documentation, which was originally written for version seven, last updated November 2016. But there's the article, there's the basic page, the article content type, formerly story, we don't care about that, is enabled, blah, 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 blah. Articles are generally used for information that is updated more frequently. Yeah, that's not helpful. Okay, so the article content type, it has a body, comments, an image, and tags. Now you can't really accomplish all of that in the basic uh, content type. If we look at the basic page, it is very simple. You can't see the title here, but there's a title and then there's the body. And the body is, um, I don't know what I'm saying, but it has CK editor right there. So it's a WYSIWYG editor and it allows you to um, have a little control over the formatting and styling of your content, but it is not ideal for trying to build hundreds, if not thousands of pages with the same consistent formatting and fields. Um, it would be a nightmare to try to manage these nodes and the styling, especially if you want to change a field, like um, say you wanted to drop some info. If this was an article, let's go to Canada land. I like Canada land. I think his name's Jesse Brown. Um, that's not it. He's cool though. Uh, let's have a look at one of their articles. Shortcuts. So it's a podcast, but still, it's a it's a format of an article. I guess we can just call it what it is. It's a podcast, and if we wanted, we can create a podcast content type. Um, so to have a look at their consistent fields across the board, I guess we should maybe have one side by side. Get it over here. Is that Jesse? There he is. So we have two different podcasts, but they each have, t uh, these are categories, I guess. Um, but they each have titles aside from the categories. They each have category titles, um, a description. Whoops. I don't know what I did there. And a follow link, download, credits, more, 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 some content. And it's all very structured. If we um, have a clean look at it outside everything, we'll decide later on that. This is draw.io. It's a wire framing program. Um, I like to use it for quick wire frames. So it's a lot easier than writing code. So let's start with a browser and have a look at this again. So like I said, this is some sort of category, but it's a big old looking title. Short cuts. And if we wanted some info, this is the category. Have another look. We have a title. We'll put that here. Oh, that was the wrong one. I wanted to try to change the color, font color. Let's use a blue. All right. And then we have a description. 
and I think you can see where I'm going I hope this is very very structured and this is very hard to well, it's not that's not what I wanted maybe it is I'll take it okay it was what I wanted so we have a description now and to continue with our um, little title or labels over here we have a title we have a description or a summary let's call it a summary and then we have links I think I'm gonna stop there cuz I'm not gonna map out their entire structure this episode is brought to you by Douglas that's that's Jesse Brown oh what am I doing links we can take a button from up here <clears throat> Follow, follow, whoa, follow. This is America. And download. All right, so to replicate this inside of CK Editor would be a nightmare. And to do that for thousands and thousands of pages. And then if you want to rearrange the, let's say now you wanted a, whoa, beat it arrow. Put an egg in your shoe and beat it. So let's say we, I'm not copying it. Let's say we wanted to swap that one day down the road in the future. I can do it now how would you accomplish that moving the links above the summary in 17,000 nodes or pages when they were all in this CK editor how do you do it you have to go and physically edit every single page or you have to get fancy with some scripts to um, to um, modify your database which is never fun uh, so that's it man like that's why you want to use a content type let's have a look at the content types and create that little structure just to round out the video because I hope that's clear I'm gonna call this one Canada Land. Canada Lands con uh, podcast type. I'm gonna call it podcast too up here. You see, it's creating a little machine name down here. This is for programming and for config in general and relationships uh let's save all right so we have a basic content type it's actually exactly like the the basic page if we have a look at the content types basic page manage fields it's the exact same without the status message so we basically just created a new basic page but now we can add fields what do we need it's that category see that could be um, actually if we look in structure taxonomy that could be a tag or you can create a new vocabulary called say category or categories if you wanted and then you add terms to that vocabulary this one would be shortcuts save and then we want to create one called I think I closed that other tab but I think it was just called Canada land Canada land 
save and go to list. So we have two terms in our vocabulary, which is a taxonomy. It's quite a chain, quite a mouthful. Um, I probably have to reload. No, I didn't have to reload. But anyway, we're back to our ad field in our new content type called Canada Land Podcast. And we were adding a term. So we're looking for reference taxonomy term. And we can call it category. And this is for the form when we're creating the content. And we're going to limit it to one. No default, save. Nope. Vocabulary. I didn't pick the vocabulary that we created back here. This in taxonomy, structure, taxonomy. Here's categories. And if we list terms, there's our shortcuts in Canada land. So here, it's asking us in our newly created field, or the field we're creating, which vocabulary do we want to pull the terms from? So it is categories, the new one we just created, not tags, which was already sitting there. Default value, I guess uh, we can pick either one. If if you have, you know, you're you're creating 20 shortcuts a week and only um, you know, five Canada lands, then it might be reasonable to say shortcuts is the default category. Back to our, is it this? Draw.io, because I forgot what we're, what the fields are. So we have a body which has a summary, um, but let's go ahead and just delete it for fun. We're going to get rid of the body in our new content type and just create a small summary. And we can use text. We're looking for the text in the add new field drop down. Text plain. I guess, yeah, we need text format. Nope. Well, I suppose it could be formatted. So let's try text formatted long. That should give us a nice little text area that with a CK editor. Uh, this is summary. We may, may want to uh, italicize or bold. Just want one per node. It is required. Save. So now we have two fields after we deleted body. The title is built in. I kind of messed with the, uh, that's supposed to be here and this is supposed to be here. Um, as for links, that's more complicated and we don't have any follow functionality yet and we don't have anything to download, but we can um, create a file field. So let's do that for links. Uh, what did I just do? I hit add field, file, label, we'll say download is the label. Sure. We just accept the defaults, allowed file extensions. Uh, I'll create a TXT file, I guess. But this is where you would set if you can upload mp3s, um, pdfs, whatever you want. Maximum file size, we're going to leave it blank, but the current limit on my local computer is 100 megabytes. We're going to save. Now we have three fields with the built-in title, so we should be set. We have all the fields we need for our little mock-up, our little wireframe. And we go to content, add content. Canada Land Podcast, and here's our new content type with the Canada Land formatted fields title. I'm going to go ahead and copy them again. Nope. This one. Copy. Paste. Summary, and 
as I said, since we have, I don't want to, I'm going to bold democracy, not Beijing. Um, so there's the summary category is default shortcuts. We can change that to Canada land if we wanted. We could have configured it to be multiple categories. And that's kind of the whole point of content types is you can configure the heck out of everything. Um, download. So I didn't create a file yet. Let's go to a new tab just in case. Just in case. Go back to my home directory desktop. Uh, touch my file.txt. I just created a file that's empty. And there it is, my file. Now, to review our form, it has all the beautiful file uh, fields that we created. Uh, all this stuff on the right, 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 is um, publishing specific things. Like, you can set a URL alias. So, um, what would this be? Pen dong dash dong slash hen dash dong that'll create us a page well we're creating a page right now but it will put it at that url uh, if we wanted to stick it in a menu somewhere this is for advanced like well it's for revisioning um so you can roll back articles if you want promote it to front page whatever we're going to save it now and without further ado, here is our Canada land kind of formatted uh, podcast content type. <clears throat> and I hope that really explains the point of content types and happy debbing.